Hey guys, it's Dave Mate here. Ask and you shall receive. You guys have been asking me uh, various questions about Mate, how to prepare it, and I'm all about it, so let's share it. Today I want to talk about uh, hemisphere switching. What is hemisphere switching? It's basically when you're drinking out of the gourd and you have your bombisha on one end and you're drinking, you're drinking, you're drinking and then the mate becomes a little bit lavado, then it becomes totally lavado but now you have this whole nother mountain of sherba on the other side of the mate or the gourd so what you do is you pull out the bombisha and you reinsert it on the other side of the gourd push it in and push all that unused sherba to the other side and then you start to pour water in your new water hole prolonging the cycle life of the mate so you get more mate uh, you get more of the experience today we're going to talk about that let's get into it all right folks now after you had about 10 12 gourds and uh, you know your your sherba is becoming a little bit lavado lavado means tasteless it becomes watery it loses its flavor what you're going to want to do is take the bombisha. Now the bombisha where it starts off is always called New York. This is New York. Now it doesn't matter what side you start the bombisha in, but just remember that it's called New York. So you want to take the bombisha from New York, carefully just pull it out, don't be scared. Switch uh, the, the, the hemisphere of your gourd. It's like you went from New York and now you're all the way in the, in the south. You're in South America. Now you're in Argentina. Bring the bombisha to Argentina and go ahead and stick it in there. You see how I just stuck it in there? This is, this is what New York was, now you're in Argentina. Now push all that nice dry sherba that was unused over. Just push it all the way over. Don't worry, it might look a little messy at first, don't worry. Now get your gourd and just add the water. You're going to be using all that good unused sherba. You see? Now you could just kind of pat that down. That's all the new sherba that's in there. Go ahead, take a sip. Mm hmm. If you did it right, your bombisha will work perfectly. The water will go straight through, but as the sherba, you want to constantly mold uh, the, sh the, the, sh the sherba and keep your water hole clear. Always keep some space right over here. Remember, you're the server. You're running the show here. So you could do whatever you want, but you just have to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with a with a with a bombisha that's clogged and then you got to start all over. You hear that sound? Sip it. Slurp it all the way. That's how you know you did a successful hemisphere switch. You went from New York up in the north and you switched it to this hemisphere to Argentina in the south, and now you have all that fresh sherba Go ahead and keep on filling that up. Look at it. You can see it's all foamy again. Because it's all the fresh sherba. All the tannins and the saponins and the good compounds are, are in this new fresh sherba over here. Go ahead. Drink. Mm-hmm. Perfecto. Que rico. Alright, folks. So, this is Dave Mate from Circle of Drink. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on Bombisha Hemisphere Switching. Remember, you start off in New York, right? You start off in the north, then you switch the hemispheres of the Bombisha and you end up in Argentina and you have all that fresh sherba. But it all begins with having a very good mountain of mate. What I call the mountain of mate. That's that mountain that's on top that you had to preserve the fresh sherba. Do not pour water on that mountain. If you pour water on that mountain, that's something entirely different. That's called flooding the mate. I'll make more videos about that later. Uh, but remember, preserve that mountain of sherba, the mountain of mate, and keep the water hole clear. And uh, this works best with mate that's either from Brazil or Paraguay. Why is that? Because those mates are more viscous, which means that they're more syrupy and more thick due to the high amount of polvo. Polvo, remember, is the powder that's included in those type of... Uh, mate cuts from those regions, regions of Uruguay, Brazil, and Paraguay. Not so much in Argentina. 
So you want to get a nice powdery mate, like the one that I'm selling, Ascension, Ascension well, I can't speak today, on uh, circleofdrink.com, check that out. Or go online and just search for some Brazilian uh, mate and order that yourself, and salud, you'll be in good health for that. So go ahead, man, bring your gourds up. This is Dave Mate representing from New York right now. Mate uh, Revolution is exploding. Uh, we got a little Mate crew going here on Long Island. We're going strong, representing Bellport, representing Patchogue, representing Sable, representing Babylon, representing Holbrook, representing Ronkonkoma. For those of you guys know uh, what's up with those towns, you guys will know. Some people, those, th those uh, towns will sound foreign, but those are just places on Long Island. We're representing Mate hard. Uh, let's keep this going. Peace out, Dave Mate, circleofdrink.com. Peace!